Okay, so I'm here to tell you guys how to use our ultrasound guided uh, pericardiosynthesis model. Of course, what you need is our uh, model, which we have instructions on how to make. Ultrasound with a phased array probe, a uh, spinal needle with a 12cc syringe or uh, larger, and of course your ultrasound gel. Um, kind of a couple of the things that this, or, uh, this model has the capability to do are um, two different views, including parasternal long and subxiphoid. Parasternal long, of course, uh, if you can imagine, um, we're going to have this is the patient, this is the left side of their body, the right side of the body goes to, towards this direction, their left arm would be over here, their hip would be down here, and their head up towards the top. So doing a peristole long view, of course you'd be placing the probe um, right in that costal space. And you can kind of see here with our model, you can see this circular structure, which is the heart, with fluid on either side of it. So now if we take the probe and we put it in the subxiphoid space, and you see the same thing. Heart, which is represented by the balloon, and then fluid up and around it. So using this model, of course, say we have a, uh, we want to get a pericardiosynthesis using the parasternal long view. We're looking for our area of um, greatest fluid dependence. And for us, let's see here, if I have to go down to rib space. You're right around here, okay? So just like you would in a personal long, I'm looking here at the screen. Here is where my probe is. I look at the screen and this would be the area of interest where I want to get some fluid taken off. So I would take my needle place it right next to that probe. As I look on the screen, I will look to see uh, where is that needle. Now for demonstrations and purposes, I'm going to decrease the depth here. And of course our area of interest is going to be up around here. Again, placing my probe or sorry, my needle, right next to the probe. Look at the screen. Right there, I can see that needle kind of jiggling. Right when I see that it's kind of tenting that pericardial sac, so I get through it, I then look at the model. As you can see, it's drawing back pericardial fluid. Again, this can be used for um, a subxiphoid view also. Again, placing the probe in the subxiphoid space. When we're looking at the ultrasound, see again, see the heart, and this would be the pericardial effusion. So we'll be taking our needle, placing it underneath the probe, Again, just for demonstration purposes, I'm going to decrease my depth. So this is the area of interest where we'd like to get some pericardial fluid. So again, placing my needle underneath the probe. Right there you can see my needle kind of jabbing through. And I'm through, and again, I'm able to draw pericardial fluid. Now, one of the things that you can do, just to test your res residents or students, um, and we'll do this using the peristinal long view, if you are to puncture the heart, again, here's your heart, what you can see here is a fail safe so that if you puncture it, you'll actually get notified that you've actually hit the heart. So let me get a good view here. So there's a very good view of the heart. I take my needle. As I go through, 
So I've hit heart. As you can see, my needle is right in there. If you look on the bottom, or if you look inside the needle, I'm sorry, as you aspirate, you see it's a reddish tinge. That is when you know that you've entered the heart. The other thing you can do is if you remove this needle, if you look on the bottom of the case, what was normally yellow is now turning red. As you compare it to one that was already made, see the difference, one is more red than the other. And that's how you use our pericardiocentesis model.